stick caper any further. What I've got now is a dessert as well. Now trying to get your kids to eat fruit, sometimes they'll do it and sometimes they won't. Now I reckon if you make them into little bite sized pieces though, it's going to be a bit more interesting and this will just bring out a really nice sweet flavour the way I'm going to do it. I've got here some diced up um, pineapple and some diced up banana. Now if it's the middle of winter where you are you might have trouble getting um, the pineapple so you could always use tin pineapple chunks just make sure that they're in their natural juices and there's no extra added sugar and stuff if you're worried about carbs and calories. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to alternate threading bits of pineapple on here. On this plate here I've just mixed together a little bit of I've mixed in a kind of a, a 3 to 1 ratio some shredded coconut and some uh, almond meal. And I'm just going to get my skewer and just lightly dust it in it. It doesn't really have to cover it too much. Okay so the way I see it you've got three different ways of cooking it. Probably the most kid safe one is just putting it in a, under the overhead grill or overhead broiler whatever you call it where you are um, and just pulling it out every few minutes and just giving it a quick turn and brushing on the, um, the leftover marinade. Now otherwise you can use a stovetop uh, grill pan or what I'm going to do is say I'm going to take this outside because it's the middle of summer here in Australia and it's a bit of an Australian tradition so we're going to take it out and put it on the barbecue grill. While you're grilling them or putting them under the broiler then you're just going to use a brush and just baste them as you turn them so just paint on that extra marinade onto the rest of the veggies and back onto the meat again. Okay, so now it's all cooked, let's have a taste test. I've already been nibbling at this banana and pineapple one, and it's delicious. The, um, the coconut on the almond on the outside has just added a beautiful tropical flavour, and um, I don't normally like this kind of thing, but I really like this this time, so... Mm. Alright, now I had a bit of trouble with the cheese, as you would have seen cooking there. You're probably better off using halloumi than bocconcini, but... I managed to keep it all together in the end. Um, moving it to a flat part of the grill worked best. But the marinade's delicious on there. I'll just slide off. And because I use the beef fillet, I only needed to cook it for a couple of minutes for it to cook right through. So that meat's just beautifully tender. I only got about two, three minutes on each side. And you can see there the cheese has gone beautifully crispy on the outside and delicious. And actually stuck to that bell pepper. Mm. Let's try a little bit here in some of the dipping sauce. Mm. That's beautifully refreshing. I really recommend that you do that when you put this together. And again, the chicken didn't take too long to cook. A little bit longer than the, um, than the, than the beef did but that's alright because it didn't have any cheese on it so I didn't have to worry so much about the cheese melting. Mm. You can taste the sweetness of that ketchup manis and then a little bit of that peanut coming through. I think that's a flavour that all kids are going to like. There you go, a beautiful and delicious meal that's colourful and exciting. You don't have to have kids to enjoy it, but it's something they can throw together. Now remember you can include whatever vegetables and whatever meat you want just a few tips for the marinades that were in there and it'll be a delicious meal for all the family that's simple to throw together and everyone can get involved in. So that about wraps it up. Don't forget to check out healthyhelpingstv.com and you'll be able to find all sorts of other great episodes and recipes on there. I can recommend episode one for families. It'd be great for um, throwing some chicken burgers together. It's something the kids can get their hands into. And if you've got kids, you might want to check out gnmparent.com uh, for other content to do with families and parenting. And don't forget gnmhealth.com for health, fitness and lifestyle pod and vodcasts. My name is Michelle. I'll catch you next time. See ya.